Hello everyone, welcome back to our another real zebra lesson. Today we're gonna discuss square root part two. Um, basically, I don't follow any book for this tutorial. I follow some international uh, real zebra curriculum. If you don't like my teaching style, you can go somewhere else. You can leave my channel. You can leave my Facebook page. You can go somewhere else because there are millions of YouTube channel, millions of Facebook uh, tutorial out there. If you um, uh, if your main objective is learning, end of the day, it doesn't matter from where you are learning. So let's go back to the class. So I'm going to review our last lesson now, then I'm going to move on. In our last lesson, what do we learn? We learn what is perfect square and when we see negative sign outside of the square root, uh, how we're going to simplify that and when negative sign is inside of the square root, how we're going to simplify that. So let's see again, square root of 4 equal to, this is perfect, totally perfect square. So why we call it perfect square? Because there is two identical number when you multiply two identical number you got the result that's why it's called um, um, perfect square here we see that there is no sign that's why directly you can write the answer is two you don't need to put any sign in front of two but when you see any negative sign inside or outside of the two how are you going to solve that so for example this is um, this is the square root of 4 and you see a negative sign outside of the square root. So where this negative sign gonna go? All you need to transfer this negative sign here, nothing else. All you need to transfer this negative sign this side, nothing else. So our result is 2. Since we know square root of 4 is 2, our result is 2. Let's move this negative sign here this negative sign gonna be here so we transfer this one here we transfer this one here now we're gonna check if we put negative sign inside the square root how we're gonna simplify that let's say the negative sign inside of the square root now how are you gonna simplify that you have to multiply it by imaginary number. So what is imaginary number? It's not, uh, it's not a real number. Imaginary number means when you see negative sign inside, you need to multiply it by square root of negative one. So how are we gonna get that? Uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna multiply square root of four times square root of negative one. Here we see the negative sign inside the square root, right? So to remove that, to remove negative sign and the square root, you have to multiply it by square root of negative one. That's the rule, that's the imaginary number and that's, uh, the symbol is I. So this is the only thing you need to keep in your mind always when you see negative sign inside the square root nothing else so what uh, what are you going to get in your result we know square root of 4 is 2 right so we're going to write 2 here and uh, we see square root of negative 1 here so what you should write for negative 1 what you should write for this part you have to write i nothing else this is called imaginary number if you don't have any idea what is imaginary number just go back to the lesson 13 then you will be totally clear about that uh, we learn when negative sign outside of the square root what we should do we learn when uh, we learn when negative sign inside the square root what we should do so let's say we have one negative sign inside the square root and another negative sign outside of the square root in that case how are we gonna simplify that here is the square root of 4. You see there is one negative sign here and another negative sign here. In that case, what are you going to do? So, let's skip this part for now. We're going to think about only this side first. So, how um, for this part, just think about this one. It's the same thing you see here. It's the same thing. So, we know square root of negative 4. We're going to do it like that same way. Square root of 4 times square root of negative 1 so we're gonna got the result 2i for this part 
and now we're gonna solve this part and we're gonna solve now this part what are you gonna do this negative sign where this sign gonna go it's same thing when you did this one when you did this one you see the connection right this one and this one have a connection they just join both of them and they did this part right so for this negative sign all you need to transfer it this side nothing else this negative sign gonna go here this negative sign gonna go here nothing else you see that so that's all about our lesson 13 i'm gonna move on our next lesson right now in lesson 14 we're gonna learn if this is not the perfect square how we're gonna solve that all the time we're not gonna get the perfect square we we, we have to simplify like different kind of number like we're not gonna get like uh, 4 9 16 every time right so how are we gonna solve that part for example let's say we have 12 so which two number you multiply to get 12 nothing right in that case you have to break down a number and then you have to move on so let's say for example when you see square root of 9 when you see square root of 9 you want to multiply it two times to, you want to multiply 3 two times so you know square root of 9 is 3 so our result is 3 so when you get when you get 16 square root of 16 what are you gonna get um, uh, how are you gonna simplify that just 4 times 4 is 4 times 4 is 16 so the result is 4 but uh, let's say this is uh, I'm gonna use different ink let's say this is square root of 14 uh, square root of 12 how are you gonna simplify that you're not gonna get two identical number to get square root of uh, square to get square root of 12 right so in this case you have to think uh, you have to think like which two number you need to multiply to get 12 so let's let's uh, let's think about that let's think about that which two number you need to multiply to get 12 it's like uh, 6 times 2 is 12 like uh, you're gonna write it down uh, 2 times 6 is 12 2 times 6 is 12 and 3 times 4 is 12 3 times 2 is 12 and what else 12 times 1 is 12 so in these three cases you have to find a perfect square number to get to break it down like you see there is two and there is six so you cannot uh, uh, you cannot use them because you're not gonna get two identical number to get 12 right to break it down to get 12 right so in this in these three cases you have to find which one have perfect square right so we see we're not gonna get perfect square for two or six we're not gonna get perfect square for three but but the four have perfect square the four have perfect square i'm gonna mark it uh, the four have perfect square so for uh, which two identical number we need to multiply to get four is two times two is four right remember that uh, remember it from our last lesson two times two is four square root of four is two right so then we can use this one to break down uh, to break it down right uh, so you see three and four so you can break down 12 by three and four so to break down 12 which number you should use from this list let's check it if uh, we take two and six we're not gonna get any perfect square number right let's check this one if we do it by three and four now we see 4 is a perfect square number here right second one have the perfect square number 4 so let's see what happen if you use it here so we're gonna use square root of 4 times square root of 3 so if you square root of uh, if you break down square root of 4 what are you gonna get you're gonna get 2 
and the square root of 3 you cannot simplify it right so you have to keep it like that so that would be our answer so this is our answer 2 square root of 3 that's your answer so let's do another one let's say we're gonna simplify square root of 24 how we're gonna simplify that square root of 24 square root of 24 so to get square root of 24 what two number you should multiply 4 times 6 is 24 12 times 2 is 24 I think we got the number here because I see there is a perfect square number here you, we see again 4 and we got uh, 6 we got um, 12 and 2 mm, what else we gonna get uh, 24 three, uh, 3 times 8 only 4 have the perfect square root right in these three cases in these three cases we see only four have the perfect square number uh, although six doesn't have that you don't have any problem with that because you can keep one number like that you don't have to simplify that part but you you can uh, if you break down 24 you can get four and six and four have the perfect square uh, four have the perfect square root so we can go by this one square root of four times square root of 6 so for a square root of 4 uh, we know that our answer is 2 so the result is square root of 6 so our answer is 2 and our uh, result is 2 times square root of 6 this is your answer that's it for today in our next class we're going to discuss how to uh, simplify the bigger number like uh, square root of 256 in our next class we're going to discuss thanks for watching see you next class